everybody, it's Emily from the Bell Road branch of the Newburgh Chandler Public Library and today I am back with another virtual book club video. The theme for this week is music. Now this book club theme is going to be a little bit different from themes that I've done in the past. It's going to be split up into two parts. So the first part today is going to be like one of my typical videos where I talk about a book that has to do with music and I show you guys some activities that you can do. Part two, which is the next video that will be going up, is where I'm going to show you a bunch of online resources that you can use for sound experiments and to learn about music and music theory. So stay tuned for that video. And as for part one, let's get started with the book talk. The book I read for this video is I Am Drums by Mike Grosso. This is a book about a girl named Sam who wants to play the drums more than anything. She even has her own homemade drum set using newspapers and other materials found around the house. She plays the drums in her school's music class, but she soon learns that the music program at her school is going to be cut. Desperate to continue to play the drums, she starts mowing lawns to save up money to pay for lessons by the local drum teacher, Pete. However, she does all of this without her parents' permission or knowledge. What will they do when they find out? I loved the way Sam described how she wants to have other people know her thoughts, and I also love the way the book starts out. I'm going to read the first couple of paragraphs to show you what I mean. Chapter 1. If I had one wish, I'd asked for a headphone jack in my head. Not a pony or a crazy fast car or a big pile of money to waste on ponies and crazy fast cars. That kind of stuff is predictable. With a headphone jack in your head, you could let anyone plug right in and listen to your thoughts, especially the complicated stuff, like the hisses and hums in your brain. I want people to understand me when I can't say what's on my mind. That happens to me a lot. Most days, I say a ton of things that don't make sense because I don't know how to say things that do. With the headphone jack, I wouldn't have to find words to explain myself. I just let people plug in and listen. One of those moments happened today, right after I hit Danny Lennox with my marimba mallet and right before the lunch lady hauled me into the principal's office. If this book sounds interesting to you, I highly recommend picking it up from the library. It's also available on our Hoopla app. Just like how Sam made her drum set in I Am Drums, I made my own drums for this week's craft. I took two old coffee containers and took the labels off and washed them. Then I took different washi tapes and made a design on the containers that I was happy with. So I have yellow tape on the lids and red tape around. Now these containers are empty and they sound like this. If you want to do this activity, I'm going to challenge you to fill your containers up with different things to see how they sound with different materials. Once you've done that, let me know in the Google form how that turned out. For the next activity, I made a phone speaker using a toilet paper roll and two paper cups. This activity might require adult supervision, so make sure to ask an adult if you need help. The first step is to design your toilet paper roll and paper cups. As you can see, I made a rainbow on my roll and I added some fun dots to my already patterned cups. The next step is to measure out how big your phone or MP3 player is on the roll. Then, with an adult, safely cut around the area so your device will fit. This is what it looks like on mine after I measured my phone. So you can see I have the little rectangle here that my phone will fit into. The next step is to carefully cut circles in the cups about the size of the toilet paper roll. So that looks like this. And again, make sure to ask an adult if you need help. The pieces go together like this. So you're going to take one end of the toilet paper roll and stick it in the hole with the paper cup. You're going to do the same with the other side. You're going to take the other end of the toilet paper roll and stick it in the hole with the cup and it should fit very snug. So it looks like this from all sides. 
And what happens is when you put your phone in here and begin to play music, the sound waves will bounce around in the tube and when they go to the cups, it'll amplify the sound waves, which will make your music louder. The snack for this week is a graham cracker xylophone. The ingredients you will need are M&Ms, a graham cracker, and peanut butter or icing or anything sweet and sticky. For this video, I'm using peanut butter. Now make sure to wash your hands thoroughly before touching any of the food. This is a very simple snack to make. All you're going to need to do is take an M&M, put a little bit of peanut butter on one side and stick it to the graham cracker like that. Now you're gonna continue to do that until your graham cracker looks like a xylophone. I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like when it's done. So this is what my xylophone looks like. You can use multiple graham crackers and use more M&Ms and make yours more realistic, or you can do different colors and patterns. Just make sure you're having fun. Thank you guys so much for watching part one of the music theme for Virtual Book Club. Uh, make sure to look out for part two coming soon. Remember to bring in your artwork so we can display it behind me. If you want to know how to do that, I do have a video on our YouTube channel called Tween Art Bulletin Board with Emily. And remember to fill out the Google form linked below so I can know what you thought of this week. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you next time.